what's going on everybody and uh, welcome to your 39th javascript tutorial now in this tutorial we'll be discussing about and i'll be introducing you to regular expressions in javascript now regular expressions are if you don't know what they are let me tell you that regular expressions are kind of pattern they create a base pattern which is um, basically used to match a instance of string in another string so basically in regular expression what we do is let's say I have I love JavaScript as a string in JavaScript now I want to find the word love I want to know whether this love is present in the sentence or not not kind of present but basically I want to create a kind of pattern which matches love in this sentence so what I'll do is uh, I'll create a regular expression with the expression as love and I would run this regular expression against this sentence now you'll say okay so why the heck do we need regular expressions for that we can easily do that with your index of and last index of methods so the reason why we need regular expressions is because regular expressions are kind of dynamic so by that what I mean is let's say I have a string with a valid email ID of let's say mayhole mpt at the gmail dot com so I want to create and let's assume that basically we are getting this email ID from somewhere on the client as an input so let's say I want to validate this as a valid email address so since we don't know what the client would enter what would be the email ID and what would be the domain name and what would be the top level domain so we can't actually use the traditional index of method so to create a regular expression first we would need to identify what is kind of dynamic input from the user and what would be the fixed input every time so if you pay attention in this email address right here then what you find unique about this is every email address would have a at the rate sign at the rate sign okay and every valid online email address I'm not talking about localhost so every email online valid email address would have a top level domain and top level domain is the domain extension I should rather say and as you know that every email address has some sort of limited cache set and by that I mean that you're only allowed to include letters numbers and dashes and I guess that's pretty much everything and I guess we also have plus signs in there for some email providers but not uh, symbols like you have like the pipe symbol or the other symbol or the hash symbol you're not allowed to use that in email address so let's say I want to create a kind of pattern now we have this pattern that we have the other it signed we have the top level domain separated separated by a dot and we have a email address that is some sort that has some sort of limited character set so what we do in regular expressions is that we would create a kind of pattern uh, containing all these three literal information in the form of information that computer understands and we would match every string against that regular expression so if that string matches or if that string actually passes the test for regular expressions for which we use a couple of methods known as test and x e x e c then we can say that yeah this is a valid email address but if that doesn't then that means that user did some uh, supply some you can say malform input in the box and we just counterfeited a attempt for 
let's say you can say kind of hacking to your site so that's how regular expressions work basically so to summarize we have regular expressions which actually create a base pattern for you on which you can throw some strings from dynamically created users uh, dynamically strings created from users and you can match those strings against your regular expressions and since regular expressions are dynamic so we can create regular expressions for emails your telephone numbers and your URLs your uh, I don't know uh, let's say uh, what do you say that I don't know whatever you can create almost anything for a regular expression like you can create that if the username is less than four characters and contains only alphanumeric characters and do not contain anything else so we have regular expressions for that so that's all for this tutorial and I hope you are well introduced to regular expressions and this would be kind of a again a mini series in regular expressions so I'll see you then in the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.